before the video begins, I just want to put a disclaimer in the beginning of the video that this isn't probably one of the best episodes that's going to be released. Not every single game is ideal with cartridge tilting. This game in particular didn't really give good results, so that's why this is a shorter video because I was actually going to not release this, but I was like, you know, I'll still do it, but I'm just going to make it a very short video. So with Banjo-Kazooie, um, it just, all that it really did was just get a few audio corruptions and crash most of the time because, again, not all games are ideal with cartridge tilting. Games like Super Mario 64, Super Smash Bros, Mario Party, and other games for other consoles are really good with cartridge tilting, but um, some games and some developers installed, like, crash handlers and, like, ways to detect if the game isn't working right and if it does, it results in a crash. So developers like Rareware did that. And that's the only reason why I'm putting this disclaimer at the beginning of this episode, so I don't bore you guys to death. So if you guys don't want to watch this, you guys don't have to. But uh, if you guys are still curious, go ahead. But this definitely isn't going to be the best episode. But if you guys are going to continue to watch, I hope you guys enjoy. What's up guys, welcome back to another video, and this is Cartridge Tilting Episode 9 I believe, and today we are doing Banjo-Kazooie for the Nintendo 64. I have so many N64 games to do, you guys might be getting sick of it, so this might be the last N64 game I might do for a while. Let me know if you guys are sick of the N64 games, I'm fine doing them, but I don't know if you guys are sick of them yet, but uh, anyway. Um, uh, last episode was Elmo's Letter Adventure for the, the uh, N64 also. In this episode, we're obviously doing Banjo Kazooie for the same console. Uh, next episode, I don't know what that's gonna be yet, but uh, we'll see. Uh, again, if you guys don't want it to be an N64 game, let me know. I really want to do Sonic 3 and Sonic and & Knuckles, and you guys have been telling me to, but again, I still don't have cables for my Genesis. Uh, and also, I don't have a copy of Sonic, or well, I do have a copy of Sonic 3, just not the one that I want to use for cartridge tilting, because I don't want to risk corrupting my data. The reason why I've been corrupting N64 games with my data is because, uh, for some reason, N64 games aren't as prone to, like, losing your data when you cartridge tilt them. Unless if you corrupt them, like, really, really, really badly, that's, like, the only time that's gonna happen, but for the most part, it doesn't really happen for these. Uh, but, uh, anyway, let's hit the reset button and start tilting on the, uh, intro right here. Alright, we're gonna do it here in a second. Oh, it froze, okay. Well, that's no fun. It's a, this is a rare game, so most of that data was actually used up by the game without having a lot of empty data. Which might happen quite a lot. So it's gonna crash a lot? Well, that's great. Mm, we'll see, we'll see. I don't know. It's a rare game, and they, their games are quite... They push the boundaries of their consoles, basically. And it won't reset, that's perfect. Well, time to power off the console and power it back on. I believe DK64 was like the only fucking like game that required, like, rare game that required the expansion pack. Yeah, that's because they, uh, there was a bug that they, couldn't, that they couldn't fix. I think it was like a memory leak or something. The fucking Conquer dev team roasted the DK64 dev team for not being able to fix it. I can see why the Conquer team are bad. They're fucking badasses. True. God damn it! It froze again. Holy shit! Try do it. It might be an intro. Try do it in gameplay. Yeah, I'll get into the game. Oh, let me reset that time. I think. Oh yeah, it did. Okay. I uh, I did uh, beat this game on the upgraded Xbox version. Uh, it's better to play it there. Because, simply because the notes, they don't, there's no note score system, you just keep the notes. I'm gonna, do it, I'm gonna do it one more time on the intro, if I can't get anything, I'll get it into the game. Here's what I think they use motion capture. Oh my god, oh. We got something for like a split second, that was something at least. Something is better than nothing. Yeah. It's kind of like Smash 64. It like lasts for like a few seconds and then it crashes. This is going to be a tough ass fucking cartridge tilting then. Holy shit. Uh, especially the quality of the developer pretty much. So like if the developers, uh, you know, crap at their job, you'll be fine. If the developers, you know, rare, you're fucked. Let's just you actually, let's do the title screen. Woo! 
And it crashed. Um, okay. As per usual. Alright, let's tilt the game here. Please give me something and not crash. Oh. Oh. It completely, oh, shit. It completely just killed itself. Like, it, it just went to a black fucking screen. Holy damn. The game's out now. Holy crap. Well, that was, uh, interesting, I guess. I'm still more excited than a crash. Not by much, though. We're just getting a slight audio corruption, nothing else, really, and then the game yeah, just freaking hard crashes. So I, I, it went off, so that must count for something. I guess. Don't know why. I'm gonna try the cutscene again, actually, because why not? It's gonna probably crash anyway. I'm doing it really slow. And, of course, even when I do it really slow, it still crashes. Amazing. I love this. This is freaking fantastic. This is going to be a great episode when it comes out. Not everybody, totally not everybody's going to complain of how shit it is, probably. Tapping the game and wiggling it around does absolutely fucking nothing. That could also be because wait, try, I uh, the wait, game. Try, try pushing it from the back. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm wiggling it, pushing it from the back. I think it's because the, I think the tapping method only works or the wiggling method only works when the game's not clean. Because that's from at least my experience and what I know. My Mario 64 is clean and works. Probably because your N64's pins are also clean. I don't know if it usually has a tight connection. That's the only time when the tapping method doesn't work. Oh? Wait! Can I play the game? Oh, as soon as I tapped the analog stick, it crashed. Bro, it was actually doing something, but as soon as I tapped yeah, the stick, no, no, no. it crashed. We had results. That's that's the important thing. Yeah, it actually lasted longer. Yeah, I think this game actually... I think that's this what game, she said. I think this game has a built-in crash handler or something, because it, like, does something until, like, the models move. As soon as the models move, the game crashes. So, I bet there is a built-in crash handler in this game. Good on you, Rareware. Goddamn. Let me tilt it. Come on, give me something. Nope. It crashed. You know what? I'm just gonna end the video here because, uh, I'm not getting anything out of this, and I've tried absolutely everything. I'm sorry, guys, but, um, not every single game is ideal with cartridge tilting. Some developers were smart with it and actually added in crash handlers or just made it where the game's impossible to tilt without it crashing. So, um, I'm sorry. I couldn't really get anything out of this one. So, just to make the video not so long, I'm just gonna make it like five or six minutes long, maybe seven at the most. I don't know. Depends how it is when the editing is done and with the disclaimer at the beginning of the video. But, uh, yeah, if you try this, uh, be aware not every game will work or at least work how it really should so uh this is i guess one of them where we can't really get many good results out of but uh anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video i doubt you guys probably did though because we got absolutely really nothing out of this um but uh anyway if you guys want to watch any oh, good episodes oh, though well. yeah true but uh if you want to watch any good episodes watch some of the past ones we got some really good results out of like mario 64 sonic 2 especially elmo's letter adventure god damn that shit was like nightmare fuel but uh, anyway oh, i'm so sorry for this episode probably being really boring for you guys but uh yeah i'll see you guys in the next episode which i don't know what game it's gonna be but uh yeah thanks for watching don't do drugs